Hi, this uh, video is a quick demonstration of the WordPress Countdown and Limited Time Offer plugin. I wanted to make a quick video to show you just how easy this plugin really is to use. Um, now, for this demonstration, I've already uploaded the plugin files to the to the uh, plugin folder in my WordPress installation and activated the plugin. Um, once that has been accomplished to access this page, all you need to do is go down here under the Settings menu and choose Countdown and that'll take you to this page that I have right here. And let me explain a little bit about what these different areas of the page are. Um, under the countdown options you have a countdown character uh, menu. Here you can select the size of the font. Um, we've got it selected as a 24 point font currently um, and that you know we can change that to a 10 point or bigger or whatever size we want to. The color of the font we've currently got set up as black but you could change that and just select whatever color you want. The same with the background or highlighting of the font you can select whatever you want to there and then you would just hit submit once you make that uh, choice. The next section is the countdown code section and there's two different options here and this is kind of the exciting part of this plugin that I think you're gonna like. Um, let me explain both options. Option one is going to be if you want to have a countdown that um, counts down toward a specific date in time. So an example of this would be let's say that you had a new product that you were launching and you were going to launch it on August 1st. You would just simply go in here and select the date as August 1st and put in the time that you want to count down towards. So let's say that you're going uh, to launch your new website or new product at uh, 1 p.m. on August the 1st. 1 p.m. Um, would be 1300 hours. Um, if you were doing it at, at uh, 1 30 it would be 1330 hours and you could even put it down to the second um, that you wanted to. Um, and then you would you would choose the code and this code it always needs to default to say countdown but after countdown you could choose whatever number afterwards and each each countdown needs to be named specifically and this is because you can use an unlimited number of countdowns within one WordPress installation so if you have multiple products or multiple offers each one can be unique and uh, and work on an individual post or page um, once you had that you would just select a URL that you wanted to redirect to this could be any other website or it could be a different page within your own website. So for instance if you had a countdown to when you were going to launch a product maybe you would have a page called launch and that would have the countdown on it but then at the end of the uh, countdown you would want to redirect it to you know another page with your live offer on it. So that's the option one which is really cool um, really easy to use and it's going to count down to that specific date. Option two is another really cool feature that many of you are going to like. Um, what this option does is instead of making it count down to a specific date for everyone that visits, this option gives you the ability to have a countdown clock that starts when each individual user lands on the web page or post. So for instance, if you let's say that you had a list of subscribers um, or, or newsletter subscribers um, that you wanted to send out a specific offer to, you, you could send that out and give them, let's say, 30 minutes to read an offer. And after the offer, you were going to increase the price or maybe take away a bonus um, or, or something that you were some kind of offer. Um, that 30 minute clock is going to start for each individual user when they land on that page. It's done through cookies. As long as the user has cookies installed on their computer, it's going to work. Um, and that cookie is going to last for one full year as long as they don't delete or remove the cookies from their computer. So that's pretty cool, pretty powerful. Um, so that really, you know, works in an autopilot mode so that each individual user, no matter what day or time that they visit that page, that countdown clock is going to start at the same time. Um, it's real similar to how you set it up. You just, instead of selecting option one, you select option two. You're going to want to name this again, and uh, we'll just call this one countdown 10. Um, like I said, you would put, uh, you could do it in days, hours, minutes. You, you know, if you wanted to give someone 24 hours, you could put in one day there to make a, a choice. Or if you wanted to give them an hour, you could put in one hour. Um, for demonstration purposes of this plugin, I'm just going to do like uh, 11 seconds here for this one, and then we'll have it uh, redirect to Google.com at the at the end. After you do that, you hit submit, and now we need to go down here, and there's. Uh, 
countdown 10 here that we just uh, we just created, which was for 11 seconds. And what we do is we copy this this green area here. This is the code that we're going to put into our our HTML editor on the post page. Um, the only thing we're going to do is we're going to change this XX to 10 to match um, the code that we just set up. So now we're going to go over here to add new post. And we're just going to name our post demo. Well, if my computer will. There we go. Demo countdown. And the important thing is here, you want to type like uh, this is a demo of countdown. If I can type. And then the important thing is here, you want to go to the HTML tab and paste in that countdown code and we're going to change that XX to 10. And then once you're done, you hit publish. And then if you view this post, it's going to have a 10 second countdown. And as soon as this uh, countdown completes, it should forward us to google.com as we set up. And it's redirected. So now if we go back, it's going to immediately redirect us because it's got that cookie now. So we would have to go back uh, several pages in order to get that to, uh, uh, to work right. So that's how easy it is to use the, the countdown plugin. Once you're, once you're done, you can always go back and edit that um, however you want to. You can um, you know, go back and change the size or color of it. You can, you can edit um, you know, the, the time if you want to make it a, you know, a different, if you want to make it, let's say, 30 minutes now instead of 11 seconds, you could do that and hit submit and that would change for all future purposes. Um, but one thing to keep in mind is that's you know it's based on cookies so if you haven't changed the countdown code in years you may not be able to see it unless you delete the cookies on your on your browser uh, before you know retesting it. Um, but that's it. That's how easy it is to use this WordPress countdown and the two powerful options the one that counts down to a specific date and time and then redirects and the other one that's per user session. So um, I think you're gonna like it.